good, everybody? Hope that you guys are having a super blessed day. And I say it before each video because I truly do mean it. All right, now guys, if you haven't seen it, yesterday I made a video on the Combine King himself, DK Metcalf's high school highlights. And in that video, we got to take a look at the freak that is DK Metcalf, except in a high school version of himself. Except the high school version of himself was still a physical monster, seeing that he was 6'2 and 210 pounds. And now I bring this up for two reasons. Firstly, as a little plug, if you guys haven't seen that video, I wanna go click it, it'll be right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just trying to link my videos. And secondly, because there are just some football players who are physical specimen, even in high school. But you see, I'm not just talking about the high school seniors. And no, I'm not talking about the juniors either. No, today we're gonna to be taking a look at one of the most physically dominating sophomores in the country. Now, real quick, because I know that you guys are gonna roast me in the comment section, this player is class of 2021, which technically means he is now going into his junior year, but the kid is still in high school and the highlights that we're going to be looking at are his sophomore year highlights. So he's a sophomore. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Foster High School zone Ruben Fatherly. Now, Ruben is a four star recruit coming out of his sophomore year where he's ranked as the fourth best player in Texas, the fourth best offensive tackle and the 25th best player in the class of 2021. Now, as a sophomore, you're expecting your offensive lineman to be, you know, maybe 6'1", 6'2". If they're a physical specimen, maybe even like 6'4", somewhere around 270 pounds. To me, that would be the cream of the crop when it comes to a sophomore offensive tackle. But you see, Ruben has to go above and beyond that. My man Ruben Fatherly, as a sophomore, is 6'8", 300 pounds. Guys, I don't think you realize how impressive that actually is. When compared to the class of 2019's top tackle prospect in Logan Brown, he's 6'6", 305 pounds. So my man Ruben is two inches taller, and if he just has a good meal, he'll be the same weight as Logan. And then Ruben's size is even more impressive when you compare him to the average size of an NFL lineman, which is 6'4 and a half and about 315 pounds. As a sophomore, this guy is bigger than the average offensive lineman in the NFL. So I'm done talking. I want to see what the big man on campus, Ruben Fatherly, is looking like on that field. So let's get right into his highlights, shall we? Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's see what the six foot eight, 300 pound Ruben Fatherly is looking like on that field. Like, oh. Okay, I think the scarier thing is it's hard to find out where he's at on the field. This man's sick. Oh, there he is. Okay. Now, he does not. He's number 76 for those of you guys who are winning. So, he's at. He has a. That's, that's a tall offensive line. Because if if you're six foot eight and you don't clearly stand out, that means that everyone else is like 6'5 to 6'6. Six, six. That was a dime right there. He moves pretty well. He moves his feet really well for a big man. Got him pulling. There you go. <laughs> Just get him out the way, little boy. He's like, come back behind me, bro. <laughs> Dude, when he gets those hands on you, it's over. It's actually over. You know, he's balling out out there. Like, you, I mean, come on. Like, you're a sophomore D-end, and you're trying to get past the dude who's an NFL lineman size. Like, come on. I mean, he's playing on varsity, so he is going up against higher quality talent, but, like, still. There you go. Way to go. There you go. I like how even when he knocks down the first guy, because that's always what I look for in the lineman. It's like, okay, when you... Clearly, you can be out here dominating your guy, but when you dominate him, do you go and look for someone else to block or you just, oh, okay, I got my guy. I'm good. There you go. Way to pick up that outside blitz. Nope. Nope. He has strong hands, too. I like, I would like to see him get his hands, his hand uh, replacement a little bit quicker, but overall, his hand placement is very accurate. He's getting it inside of those shoulder pads, so every time he is making contact, it's very effective. There you go. You see, he's got those hands on the inside. <laughs> he's got those hands on the inside. Sit down, little boy. <laughs> yes, let's go. Way to finish the play, bro. Get 
gets those hands inside and then I would like to see him drive his feet a little bit more so he's not accepting the rush more as he's driving guys back on on like pass protection but he he can get it done he can more than get it done Nope, nope, nope. You're not getting past them. Nope. And see, he get, he gives his quarterback a really clean pocket because he he takes his guy so far out of the out of the play that if okay, say the DN he just tries to just rush straight behind him. Okay, well all the quarterback has to do is just step up, and he looks like a dual threat quarterback, so he steps up, takes his six five to six yards, and then takes a slide, or he just steps up into the pocket and delivers a strike. But my man Ruben is out here just moving dudes. And he's got that reach too. It's like, on top of being 6'8, it does look like he has like longer than normal arms. So he, it's like, come on, dude, 6'8 with like a 6'10 wingspan. There you go, way to replace those hands. He kind of got beat there in the beginning, but he, he planted down, he anchored down, and then he replaced and got his hands on the inside. And he was good from there on. Guys try to speed past them. Guys try to power through them. It's like, it just ain't working, Chief. That ain't it. He can just keep you so far. And even when he try to jump, he just keeps you pinned on the ground. Nope. Nope. <laughs> just get out of here, little boy. And yeah, no, when he when he goes and he has to move a linebacker out of the way, they're just consider them moved. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hold up, bro. You need to chill, dude. You could actually kill someone. Dude, six eight three hundred coming with a crack bag, just dink. You know that this dude, he got up quick. Hey, I, I, hey, number 20, I give you, hey, you're a trooper, bruh. But holy fam, could have died out there, bruh. Yeah, no, just, just sit down, little boy. He just looks like a man amongst the boys out there. Nope. Cause see, when someone tries to just speed past him, he just has to just push him upfield more, and then they overshoot the quarterback. He's just move like he could just wall off a whole side of the line by himself. And you guys gotta remember, this is a sophomore we're talking about. This ain't this isn't a senior offensive line. This dude is a sophomore. Like just off of his size, I'm like what are his parents feeding him? Six, eight, three hundred as a sophomore? That means you're like 15 years old, bruh. <laughs> it's like you see the dudes trying and it's like they're just not getting past at all there you go that's how you make a lane for your running back let's go nope nope <laughs> Well, okay, Ruben, I see you out there. I mean, there's not really a whole lot more that I could say. You're six foot eight, 300 pounds, and you are a 
dominating offensive lineman. All right, but bro, if you do happen to stumble across this video, I wanna let you know, don't let your size be the only thing that gets you to college, bro. Continuously work hard, continue to work on your footwork, continue to work on your hand speed and your punches and your jabs and just working on replacing your hands and like all that stuff because bro, if you're able to connect all that stuff and get to about 3.30, either your senior time in college, you're going to be one of the best offensive tackle prospects in the country, hands down. But what'd you guys think of Ruben Fatherly? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, you guys, with that being said, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can you give this video to 600 likes? Cause that'll let me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with. Hey, yeah. All right, you guys, with that all being said, a super, super, super blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.